This franchise is looking for its fifth coach in six years. How vital is it to find the right guy to create some continuity? Um, yeah, I think I think you know in terms of the amount of coaches we've had, um, you know, each coach was the right coach for that time period, um, and I think it's the same thing now. Um, and we, 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 we do want stability. I will say about, about Larry Drew, um, he's been here for five years, so he was part of the continuity of it. Um, yes, he was a new head coach, but he had been here. Um, in terms of moving forward, I think it's important that we find a leader that, that's, that's in it for the long haul, that really wants to be a part of Cleveland, our city, um, and this team, and help us grow, um, help us grow every day. I think we have to be obsessed with um, the process of getting better um, and not so much results driven. And so that's the, that's the person I need to find. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Yes. Um, you're so big into fit, this organization is. Why wasn't LD the right fit moving forward? So, great question. Um, and again, this, this whole year, uh, he showed, improved, um, you know, what we needed for this year. Uh, for, for moving forward, has nothing to do with what, what Larry didn't do this year. Um, it's more of, um, for, for us, uh, who's going to be the leader for this franchise moving, moving forward um, and be a cultural driver, uh, be a teacher, um, and be about uh, sort of, um, you know, in terms of with, with us, uh, aligned with, with us. And that's not that Larry wasn't at all. Um, I think for us moving into the future in this, this era of Cavaliers basketball, um, it's important that we find, like you said, the right fit for that. And so I'm excited to start that, that process. With the roster that you have right now, player development, I'm assuming, is going to be the number one focus in, in finding in the coach. Absolutely, and and so you know, great great point about player development being key. Um, I think we've seen immense growth from our young guys because of that focus that we had on it, and so you saw tremendous growth from Colin Sexton this year um, from his tireless work. Uh, but us setting a stage for him to be successful, I think, was important. Jetty Osmond also um, showed, showed tremendous growth. Um, I think he jumped. Uh, points per game second in the league to, to Siakam. Um, you saw Larry Nance Jr. have career highs across the board, points, rebounds, assists, steals, three-point percentage. So us setting that stage for the guys is a huge deal to me. Um, and then putting it together, um, but that's going to be a big part of, of, of who we bring in. Is, it, it, that's going to be a big part of, of what they do. Um, that's how we're going to grow this thing. What is it to you that you had a previous relationship with somebody to bring in potentially for this job? Not really. Um, we're going to get to know these candidates, um, and it's a it's a wide net. Um, we're going to sit down my, with my front office now and sort of go over the, the the list of names and sort of try to narrow it down some. Uh, but we have we have a bunch of different boxes that we're going to look at, um, and that doesn't have to be a prerequisite. I know you said the job's attractive. You guys have a lot going for you. If you guys were to win the lottery, I think a lot of people would think this job's a lot more attractive. Does that factor into the timetable at all? No, it doesn't. I think um, on its own merits, I think we have tremendous resources. We are positioned really well for the future. Um, we are going to draft a high impact player, regardless of where the ping pong balls um, land. And so all those things together um, are, are a big part of, of us being an attractive destination. But I'll say this, I'll say that I'm not we're not going to sell our job. I think um, the person that's right for this job is going to really want to be here.